831 everybody and there's a host of drugs on the market right Ozempic, Wagovi, Zepbal, Manjaro all touting benefits such as weight loss and they continue to really be in the news and on social media mentioning some other perks as well. Yeah what we don't hear about as much are the side effects so here to educate us on this weight loss medication craze is Dr. Sue Dakotis a board certified weight loss specialist in New York City so thanks so much for being here doctor we appreciate it. So a lot of these drugs, um, they're being used for weight loss, but that's not what they were made for specifically. So can you talk about this? They were originally FDA approved, let's say Monjaro and Ozempic, for diabetes, type 2 diabetes. And then they began realizing, wow, people are losing a ton of weight. So then they said, let's use it for that. Then they got it FDA approved, the commercial form, of course, um, which would be ZepBound, Okay, or Wagovi for weight loss. So yes, they are officially used for weight loss. So they got the FDA approval for the exactly. weight loss part. But exactly. All of them or just some of them? No, those two. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So so they also realized the generic name is semaglutide for Ozempic and terzepatide for Manjaro. And they're also available via compounding. So they're not for everybody though, right? So who do you recommend actually take those drugs, right? Sp specifically for the weight loss portion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not someone that just needs to lose 10 pounds or hasn't tried healthy lifestyle. So if somebody's not eating well, they're not exercising, try that first for sure, mm -hmm. right? So when, any, when a patient comes into my office here in New York City, the first thing I do is take a dietary assessment, a lifestyle assessment. Yeah. What are you doing? How much did you weigh five years ago? What about 10 years ago? Do you have hormonal problems? Are you going through menopause, perimenopause? Mm. For men, do you have low T, okay? Is there a family history of obesity? How do you feel? Are you sleeping at night? Do you have any coexisting problems? Mm. Do you really feel that your body is changing? You feel like you lost your mojo? Yeah. You're tired? Mm -hmm. And then what I do is I put everybody on a body composition scale. That is essential. And that's what most doctors are not doing. I see. They're just With prescribing the, it? Yeah, they're just prescribing it. Well, a body composition scale is very expensive and you have to know how to use it. So what it does is it tells me all of the compartments of the body. How much fat does this person have? How much water, how much muscle, how much bone? So as I'm treating them, I see what's happening. So if you're insulin resistant, your body fat is gonna be a lot higher relative to your weight. Yeah. So that's what we're looking at. Well, let me ask you this then. What are the dangers of someone taking these drugs that should not be? The dangers would be someone that's not being supervised. Their nutrition is not being supervised. And what, something that's not emphasized as en enough is the hydration. It's essential that every patient that takes this drug be extremely hydrated. The people that don't are the people that have all the GI side effects, that might faint, that might lose muscle. Mm, wow. Most of those patients are not drinking enough water. It's that simple. Most physicians don't know. They're saying, oh yeah, drink water. Well, how much? Many of my patients need to drink a gallon or more a day while they're wow. on this medication. Wow. Why is that? Well, it's because for every ounce of fat that you burn, you're losing water. Yeah. So the body is like, what's going on? So the body will shut down the drug, which is kind of a good thing, right? Well, you know, except that it will burn muscle because you're in caloric deficit. Wow. Yeah, so those are the side effects for if you don't drink enough water. What are some of the other side effects? Because some people talk about nausea and vomiting yeah. and some so of the So that can happen in the beginning. It's, it's more apparent if you're not drinking, drinking enough yeah. water. Women tend to have more than men, but it's nausea, vomiting, maybe some reflux, like you taste your food a, a day or so later. Yeah. I you know, let me ask you this, because it just seems like the body, it all sounds great, the body composition, but you have those folks who are just like, I want to pay for the drug. I want to lose a couple extra pounds, yeah. right? And they're, going if, on vacation. And if they don't do it to you, they're going to go to someone else, right? I want to, I got to fit into a dress, whatever it may be. Well, this is it. There are massive shortages of these drugs. Yeah. Good luck getting it at your pharmacy. Okay. So that's another problem with the commercial drug. Well, the question so, I was going to ask was long term. How, how long do you have to take it? I, it depends on your body fat. Okay. So I really do it scientifically. I don't want to just get you down to... Oh, like Hazel, you might say, I want to be a size two. And I'll say, bye, Hazel, we're done. No, I have you come back, mm -hmm. all right? And I want to see where your body fat is. Are you holding it? So what I do is I titrate the dose up to get the person into the into the good body fat range, and then I taper it down and I watch them very carefully. And we get most people off the drug. Mm. Yeah, It's untrue that you need to be on this for the rest of your life. Unless, number one, you're a diabetic, or number two, you're extremely insulin resistant. Mm. So I think long term they're safe. The drug is a peptide, right? So it's a simple strand of amino acids, just like this necklace. It's very yeah. simple. So if you look at the at the structure, 
on paper, like, you know, in biochemistry class. It's very simple. Mm. It's a lot simpler than most of the drugs you would get over the counter. Yeah. So I think long term we're going to see safety. Very rarely you can get pancreatitis. Mm. Very rarely you can have intestinal obstruction. Very, very rarely. Otherwise, you know, the trial lawyers would be all over this, yeah. right? I mean, bottom line is check with your doctor. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Thanks so much for coming in and, and spelling Thank this you. all out. Good we stuff. appreciate it.